Look, no intro this time. You see how long the video is. You know why we're here. You know what we're about. Eminem, kickoff, freestyle, breakdown, reaction, all that shit. Let's just jump right into it. Let's just hit that shit. DJ, spin that shit. Since you know we're on location at the shelter. I've always looked at battle rap as competition or war. And the main objective is to destroy, completely fucking obliterate your opponent by saying anything and everything, whatever the fuck you can to get a reaction from the crowd. For those of you that don't know, for those of you that might be youngins, maybe you're not from the United States and you don't know a whole lot about hip hop culture, you're just getting into it, whatever. All you need to know is that Eminem grew up in the battle rap scene. He flew to LA to be in the Rap Olympics and won that hoe in like 1996. And that's when he you know, met Dr. Dre and then boom, here we have the GOAT. He's right. That was the whole point of battle rap, which is why I think, in my personal opinion, one of the downfalls of MGK's diss toward him is that he was not just trying to obliterate. He was complimenting at the same time. In the old school way, you weren't complimenting at all. You were just trying to cut down your opponent as much as possible and get that reaction. Before this kicks off, let me set my balls on this tease. Cause I'm dot nice every time I cross one of these. Before this kicks off, like starts, let me set my balls on these tees. Like golf balls on tees, cause I'm dotting eyes every time I cross one of these. Dotting eyes and crossing tees. It's not a redeeming quality at all in me. It's impossible. Seems like an implausible dream. Positive, clean thoughts in the vein, but they're all either altered and mean, assault and demean, tossed to the being lost in the scheme, squashed in between a brainwashing machine. This is gonna be a long video for this reason. I'm gonna have to pause it all the time. There's not a redeeming quality at all. It's impossible. Seems an implausible dream. Like there's not a redeeming quality to who he is. He's Slim Shady. He's the bad guy that's always been inside of him, and he always will be that person. The positive, clean thoughts intervene, but they're all altered and mean like he tried to get that pessimist he tried to let go of that pessimist and become that optimist in his prime but they're always intervened and they can't get out the way that they want to get out assault and demean toss and they're being lost in the scheme when i first heard this i had to rewind it like 10 times because the wordplay and the rhyme pattern was too dense and too complex i was getting lost and if your boy's getting lost, I know you're getting lost because I'm breaking shit down. He's literally acknowledging the fact that his lyrical ability is getting lost in the scheme, squashing between a brainwashing machine. Brainwashing machine, but also washing machine, brainwash, combines the two together. Like an Islamic regime, a jihadist extreme radical suicide bomb that it's seeing. Ariana Grande sing her last song of the evening. And as the audience from the damn concert is leaving, Detonates the device strapped to his abdominal region. I'm not gonna finish that for obvious reasons. I'm not gonna finish that for obvious reasons. Again, going back to the whole, like I said in the last Rap God breakdown where he was censored for talking about Columbine, which was a terrorist act back in 2003 or whenever. No, no, not 2000. Maybe sometime around that, 2002, some, I forgot when it was. But he was censored for the Columbine thing, and this now he's talking about and bringing up the Ariana Grande terrorist attack where she was in, I forgot where she was, in the UK somewhere, Manchester, saying brainwashing machine like an Islamic regime that they brainwash all the people that follow that cult-like following and just hottest extreme radical suicide bombs that are seeing Ariana Grande singing her last song of the evening. So he's saying he's not gonna finish that line or finish that train of thought because he doesn't wanna get censored or potentially it will be censored and not even worth his time mentioning. But bring your dogs, I'm a Muslim. Mm. I'm not Middle Eastern, but I'll make a bitch rock a hijab and at least a extra large in a t-shirt, head scarf and a piece of tarp underneath the carpet of hasta la vista. Bro. But bring your dogs, I'm a Muslim. Like put a muzzle on a dog, but also Muslim like the religion, and we're talking about Islamic regimes, jihadist extreme, the Middle East concept that we're on. I'm not Middle Eastern, but I'll make a bitch rock a hijab. Hijab, hijab? The wordplay there, Raqqa was the city that was captured by Syrians or by ISIS in 2015, but like literally, I'm gonna rock this suit, I'm gonna rock this chain. I go Hamas on the beats, a paradox on the beach, and a pair of crotchless underwear on a terrorist watch list. Getting head in the sand like an embarrassed ostrich. Mmm. I go Hamas on the beats. 
like Hamas again with the Middle Eastern theme, but ham, like I'm going ham on the beats. Getting head in the sand like an embarrassed ostrich. Fellatio in the sand, but like how ostriches like stick their head in the sand or stick their head in holes. The wordplay and the fucking double entendres are nuts already. National shit sprayer. Bitch, watch who you talking to. Like Apple wristwear. Bitch, watch who you talking to, like Apple wristware. Like literally an Apple watch and you like watch who you're talking to because you can talk to the watch in speaker mode. Watch who you're talking to, but also watch who you're talking to. Endangered species in this APC shit a bit scarce. Praise decreasing, I face extinction like disc players. Endangered species in this ABC shit a bit scarce. Like, he's the last of a dying breed. His prey's deceasing. There's no one for him to go after. There's no one for him to feed off of. He faces extinction like disc players. No one has a fucking CD disc player anymore. No one even knows about that shock resistance 30 seconds and that clear fucking top so you can see how fast your disc is spinning and shaking it to see how good that shock resistance is. Only 90s kids remember. I told this chick she's hot as Jada Pinkett and just stared till I made her think it. Said maybe we should just get married. She's facing me. I place my feet with my hips square. Tell her turn around. Spread her legs for me that I hit bare. Mm. Give her stretched out like a baby t-shirt on Ric Flair. As I rip tear. Anal beads in a split rare. This is some Slim Shady shit right here. Talk like demeaning these chicks in, the, in his lyrics the way he does. Like it's terrible what he's saying, but the way he's saying it is so like dense and complex that I just can't get enough. He's literally talking about seducing this chick, not even seducing, maybe like not forcing her, but like aggressively coming on to her. She's facing me as I place my feet with my hips square, tell her turn around and spread her legs for me. Then I hit bear, talking about having sex with her and leave her stretched out like a baby t-shirt on Ric Flair. Woo! Right? Shit's nuts. Spray for breeze in the chick's hair. Make her wheeze trying to get air. I play for keeps, there's no escaping me. I have a bitch scared and chained to me and throw away the key and she'll be so afraid to leave that even if she ends up breaking free, she'll just sit there. Uh. Spray for breeze in the chick's hair, make her wheeze trying to get air. Who even like thinks of that rhyme pattern to rhyme for breeze with wheeze all while she's trying to get air because she's panicking? Basically saying he's sexual assaulting her. I play for keeps, there's no escaping me, I have a bitch scared. I play for keeps like it's, it's, it's live or die, literally in this sense. She's so afraid to leave that even if she ends up breaking free, she'll just sit there. I'm free, but I'm too afraid to go and he catches me, he kills me, so I'm just gonna sit here. Trying to scrape up enough courage and strength to get up. It's impossible. Like a slut. Oh. We stay butt naked and buck. You're close. Wait for you. What? My idea, you coming too, is waking you up. Ooh. Smelling salts after I cradled your cup. That'll straighten you up if you try to stray like a pup. Hate to get bogged down in details, but bitch, I'm like the dog pound with females. Yeah, I can with this dude. Try to scrape up enough courage and strength to get up. This is like a scene of horror. Like, he's got her taped up, got her, like, tied to the chair. She's too afraid to leave. She finally scrapes up enough courage to get up. But it's impossible, like, raping a slut. Marshall Mathers LP, Eminem, wouldn't have got censored for saying that shit. He even says it on a song on the Marshall Mathers LP. He says, fuck that, take drugs, rape sluts, make fun of gay clubs, men who wear makeup, get aware, wake up, get a sense of humor. We're trying to send some music. This is for your kids' amusement. He literally says that. He says rape sluts. And now in 2018, they they muted the word rape. But it's impossible, like raping a slut. He basically saying, not saying I agree, just breaking down the lyric. He's saying that it's impossible to rape a slut because a slut wants it all the time and you can only rape somebody if they don't want it. You're close, wait for you what? My idea of you coming to is waking you up with smelling salts after I quaalude your cup. In today's day and age, after all the Bill Cosby shit, he's got the balls to come in here and say that he quaaluded, which is a which is a type of prescription medicine that makes you really drowsy. He got her in this position because he drugged her. He's not gonna wait for her to climax. His idea of her coming to, like he's gonna come, but his idea of her coming as well is waking you up. Like coming to, like coming to your senses, like waking you up with smelling salts. That'll straighten you up if you try to stray like a pup, like a stray dog. Hate to get bogged down in details, but bitch, I'm the dog pound with females. Bitch, 
is another way of saying female dog and he's saying he's the dog pound with females. The wordplay is so sick. If this is a true freestyle, not written, I don't know where he comes up with this shit off the top of the dome. That's like to be able to be saying it and then be coming up with the wordplay and the double entendres to be saying the next line while you're already saying the line that you're saying. Real life hillside strangler, I strangle a skate's neck to this triangular shape, but it's up. Side down in my mouth, ain't gonna shut. See, he just talked about raping and killing this chick, and he's saying he's the real life hillside strangler, which was a serial killer back in, I don't even remember, 1977 and 78. So, in the span of six months, the hillside strangler raped and killed, raped, tortured, and killed 10 women. Mention me in your raps if it makes you a buck or helps you rake in the ducats. I want payment in pub. Cause I ain't trying to get in your bars like I'm waiting to club. But if you put me in your lines, I'm taking a cut. Like how, how does he come up with such a long, clever wordplay? A long, clever metaphor and simile. And mention me in your raps if it makes you a buck. Like go ahead and do that, MGK. Go ahead and do that, whoever else wants to diss me. But I want payment in pub. I want payment in pub because I ain't trying to get in your bars like I'm waiting the club. He'd rather go to the club instead of the bars, bars being rap bars. But if you put me in your lines, I'm taking a cut. Like if you put me in your lines, your lyrical lines, or literally if you put me in your lines outside of a bar when I don't want to be there, I'm taking a cut. Like a cut of the profits, but as well, cutting in line and not having to wait. How? How, Sway? We've only gone through one verse and there's nine verses. All right. One down, eight to go. Let's get it. Get a million writers inside of a room combined and it trying to get every idea of every possible line to spit. Every punchline, every combination that rhymes with it. Bitch, a whole team can't see me. There's no eyes in it. Head so he said, bitch, a whole team can't see me. There's no eyes in it. Like how they say there's no eye in team. But right here he's saying, get a million writers and you're not even gonna be able to see me. Like I'm on a whole different level. The whole team can't see me, there's no eyes in it. But listen to that rhyme scheme though. Combined in it, every possible line to spit, every punch line, every combination that rhymes with it, that's so sick. Head so big, I shot myself 10 times and it trying to commit suicide and it took five minutes and I survived this shit. Mmm, I shot myself 10 times in it, which is one more than 50 cent. His protege, protege, tried to commit suicide and it took five minutes and I survived. He's not even of this world. He's not even alive. He survived this shit. Someone's gonna challenge me who? Battle me and win? That's a fucking fallacy too. You name one motherfucker in this galaxy. <clears throat> Reality. You fantasy. Rally your troops. Try to boost the morale. Only time I start a movement's about. I can't Ooh. even give a yet. Only time I start a movement's a bow. Like I'm shitting on you rappers, but also bow sounds like every time I start a movement, a bow, like bow down to me. Someone gonna challenge me, battle me and win, that's a fucking fallacy. It's a fallacy in your argument because it's not possible. And he spits, and the spit even rhymes. He says, fallacy two, galaxy poo. How does that rhyme? How does that onomatopoeia rhyme with anything? I can't even give a yeah or a woo when you rap in the booth. Not even a nah or a boo. Cause even though I'm allergic to the crap that you spew when I'm about to break out, I don't mean get a rash from it too. Mm. Cause when I say I have allergies, I actually do. But that's just an analogy. I've never had a reaction to you. Woo! And he's, he's talking shit about people that ad-lib. He says, I can't even give a yeah or a woo when you rap in the booth. Like I can't even give a background track. Skr, skr. He says, not even a nah or a boo, like you ain't even worthy of my negative comment. Cause even though I'm allergic from that crap that you spew, I'm allergic to your bullshit. When I'm a break out, I don't mean a rash from it too. Break out like a rash, but also break out. And then he says, cause when I say I have allergies, I actually do. I got allergies, I'm itching right now from some shit, I don't even know. But that's just an analogy cause I've never had a reaction to you. Like an allergic reaction. I got allergies to your music, but I've never even had a reaction cause it's not even strong enough for me to have a reaction to. This dude is sunning everybody more than Nicki Minaj. Who else gets annoyed when Nicki Minaj says sun everybody? Shit pisses me off. We get it. Say something different. Creature up from the black lagoon. I'll reach up and I'll smack the moon. You grease struck that I'm back so soon. You teach up for this afternoon. Creep up with a pack of hoodlums. Mm. We pack a punch like Capri Sun. Heat up 
like we eat snuck in a submachine gun. We stuck in a submarine bun with a bag of shrooms. Bruh. How? <laughs> That's basically my question the whole video. How? How? Creature from the Black Lagoon, obviously the Loch Ness Monster. Nobody believe he exists. You know, but he's back. But also the movie Creature from the Black Lagoon. Half man, half monster. I reach up and I smack the boon like on Rav God. He says, your arms aren't even long enough to slap box. He's out here slapping the moon and you ain't even reaching him. We pack a punch like Capri Sun. Capri Sun is literally a pack, like a packet of punch. Fuck Christina with a plastic spoon. Ooh. Wanna pump some G-Funk and blast some Snoop cause her double G cups are massive, huge. Did this man just make a fat joke about Christina? He's going back fucking 10 years and already making jokes about her like he did back on the, the Real Slim Shady Please Stand Up. He says, I fuck Christina with a plastic spoon. Christina Aguilera on the Real Slim Shady, he says, so I could be put in between Carson Daly and Fred Dirtz and hear him argue over who she gave head to first. Little bitch put me on blast on MTV. I'll tell the whole world how you gave him an MVD. And here he is again, all these years later, still talking shit. Cause her double G cups are massive, huge. He's saying that because she's fat or gained weight. And that Snoop line goes right into the double G, like Snoop Deal double G. How does he connect lines like this? It's fun for me just to grab a boob. Plus my penis got an attitude. Mm. My fucking wieners in a combative move. Come and suck a mean one like it's mad at you. This dude said, come suck my wiener like it's mad at you because his fucking wiener is in a combative mood and has an attitude. So come on, suck on it like it's mad at you. The shit is fucking fire. I speak tongue in cheek what you ass licks do because you love to eat, but it's sad, but true. I speak tongue in cheek like what you ass licks do. Literally talking about eating ass. Literally tongue inside a butt cheek, but also calling you ass lick like you ain't shit. I just sprung a leak suddenly, what I think in my gut instinct become in sync. My thoughts and my stomach link up with each other. Ink touches the pad, then boom. My thoughts and my stomach link up with each other. Ink touches the pad, then boom. Like my gut instinct, my stomach, and my thoughts, they link together. And this is who you're getting on these rhymes. Since the day Dre gave me beats, I was made elite. Mm. This is basically what makes me me. Creating stink to these tats of fading ink. Who's the greatest? Think we're still debating. Wink. Since the day Dre gave me beats, like Dr. Dre beats headphones, but literally Dre was the one that signed him and gave him instrumentals to hop on. And that's what made him a lead and that's what made him him. Like he wouldn't be here like he always says without Dr. Dre. He's creating stink, like he's creating shit, stirring shit up until these tattoos are fading ink. You know how long it takes for a tattoo to fade? Like decades and decades. If ever. And then he says, who's the greatest? We're still debating. Wink. Everybody knows it's him. But all right, let's go ahead and debate about it. ADD. And better put out an APB. Because it'll take LAPD and me laying in the street for you to see Shady P. Ooh. And I bet you they need cleats. Because I'd have to be stomped by 40 men to suffer AD feet. Oh. Bro. ADD better put out an APB, all points bulletin, basically have all the cops on the radar because it'll take the whole LAPD and me laying in the street for you to see Shady beat. Going back to the LAPD beatings and the LA riots from there when there was a lot of police brutality in the 90s. For In order for Shady to be beat, literally on the charts, he's bringing it back with that metaphor, saying they would need the LAPD and all of their police brutality in order to see me beat. And not even then. They'd have to be wearing cleats and it would take 40 men stomping on him with cleats before he sees AD feet. Let me break that down again. It would have to take 40 men stomping on him before he sees 80 feet. 40 men, two feet each, literally 80 feet on 40 men. It'll take 40 men with 80 feet before he sees a defeat. That shit is clean. I pray, please, Jesus, to make me decent in hailing The main ingredient of pain relievers and saline. I take three of leaves trying to break these fevers. I'm ailing. I stay free of divas and ladies screaming because they keep scheming on me. They dean keeping the women at bay. Like Lacey Peterson, baby fetuses, legs mm. and feet. And weighted, chained in semen and straight demon. And wait, even if it takes me. Where do I pause? Where do I pause? Where do I pause? 
he can't keep going on like that. I, where am I going to pause it? Talking about he's trying to inhale the leaves and the mania and greeting of pain relievers. That's not going to do anything because he used to be a pill addict. It's well documented. That's why he went to rehab. Pain relievers and painkillers are two different things. Pain relievers literally just relieve pain. Painkillers stop neurological processes in your brain. Trying to break these fevers though because he's so hot. He's got these fevers. He stays away from divas and ladies screaming because they're scheming. Everybody knows that. Can't trust these chicks out here. You know what I'm saying? Keep your mind up, kings. Keeping the women at bay like Lacey Peterson. Baby fetuses. Lacey Peterson was her body. She was murdered. I don't know if it was, I forgot if it was a serial killer, or like a deranged lover or someone like that, but she was murdered and literally found on the shore of a bay. So he's saying keep these women at bay like Lacey Peterson. He's using that all as wordplay for keeping women at bay, like keeping them at an arm's distance, but keeping them literally at bay like Lacey Peterson's body. That's deranged line, but so fucking sick. Baby fetuses, legs and feet have been weighted, chained and semen, it's straight demon, it wait. And he says, legs and feet have been weighted, chained and semen, it's straight demented, wait. Like everything he's saying is demented. Even if it takes me cleavers to make believers, mistake free schemes are enabling me to remain deviant, break beat eater like steak meat. And seats take seats like AMC theaters, deranged ring leader, depraved king who mainstream media hates. Nima, if you get a brother, should I name him Shady? Or should I name him Eminem or Marshall or something? That'd be kind of cool. But I kind of like sticking to your Egyptian roots and your Egyptian background with your Egyptian style names, right, Nima Tep? Right, Nima Tep? Nima Tep's her name, full name, by the way. Mistake free schemes are enabling me to remain deviant. Again, going back to the demented lines that he uses, lines that no one else would ever dare to say. So his clean delivery is, is what allows him to remain deviant. MCs take seats like AMC theaters. Like, take your seat and witness this greatness. Take your seat like AMC theaters. Deranged ringleader, depraved king who mainstream media hates. Mainstream media hates Eminem. They hate all of Interscope and when back when they were popping at the top of the charts and top of the game with everybody that was signed to Interscope. Which makes things easier, still under scrutiny. Villainous, smooth, criminal, living room with a new Reese with a spoon who was bruised, beat with the prune, in two pieces and lays deceased in it. The way that he describes himself, villainous, smooth, criminal, who obviously Eminem had beef with Michael Jackson. You know, because of the shit that he said in some of his songs about Michael. Not some of his songs, a lot of his songs actually about Michael. Live in the booth, shave, eat, pay, drink, sleep in it. R.A.P. bleed, the shit's still in our poop pit. It's a spillage, a sewage leak. Waste deep feces, the syllables ooze fecal. They feel like renewed leases because my brain releases them. Live in the booth, like literally all the things that you do when you live in like an apartment or a house. Shave, eat, bathe, drink, eat, and sleep in it. R.A.P. I bleed the shit. Like literally he bleeds rap, like he'll die for rap. It's the spillage, a sewage leak, waist deep feces. The syllables ooze fecal, they feel like renewed leases cause my brain's releasing them. He says they feel like they're renewed leases, like they're brand new every time. Like a lease is renewed every year or every six months or however long you lease for it. But every time you release, you're on a new cycle. And he's saying that every time he releases something, he's is a new him. Like waste excretion and simultaneously as I'm giving these fools grief, they're feeling the blues, cause even if still in my shoes, thieves just the films are huge feet. Ooh. As I'm giving these fools grief, they're feeling the blues. Like literally grief, like when you're grieving, you're literally feeling down and feeling the blues, but he's giving them grief for the shitty raps that they put out. Cause even if you're still in my shoes, even if you try to take my style and, and try to put your feet in my shoes. To fill them is just a huge feat. Like it's a huge accomplishment. It'll take it literally a huge foot. Feet as in feet and feet as in accomplishment. Obey these demons, we're still in cahoots. Keep feeding me blank sheets. As soon as I sink these teeth and I'm killing the loose leaf. Time to shake these trees again. Wait, make that phrase repeat again. Killing the loose leaf, shake these trees again. Get the rake. But it ain't me leaving him. You ain't even getting these bars, son. Where are you getting these bars from anyone else besides him? He says, I obey these demons that are in my head because we're still in cahoots. Like, I try to get rid of them, but not really. Keep feeding me blank sheets, like blank sheets of paper. As soon as I seek these teeth in them, as soon as I write down my words and sink my words into these pad, and I'm killing the loose leaf, literally killing all this paper. Time to shake these trees again. Literally loose leaf, 
but loose leaf paper, shake these trees to get down the loose leaves. That line was so bomb. I'm gonna go Mike Jones, who? Mike Jones, who? Mike Jones, and I can't be cloned and repeat the shit for you. So he says it again. Get the rake, but it ain't me leaving him. Like leaving, like gone, but also leaves as in plural of leaf, leaving him. How? How? Viker than snoop friends, I bite them and chew them. The whites and the blues mixed with nitrous balloons. And mm. I like to sniff glue sticks, put rice in on two picks on the mic. I'm just ruthless, a crisis, a nuisance who I influence. I give two shits if they want to license my music to entice with and use this shit like it's the blueprint for ISIS recruitment. Oh, he just talking about his whole pill addiction again and his addiction to drugs and he's no longer on that but he's still the same person he was lyrically and internally when he was on that. We don't want him to be on drugs but we want the Eminem that was on drugs. The whites and the blues, those are the colors of the pills, mixed with nitrous balloons like taking nitrous oxide hits. On the mic I'm just ruthless, a crisis, a nuisance, who I influence I give two shits. Like, I'm just spitting what I gotta spit. I'm saying what I gotta say, whether I influence the kids or the adults or the up-and-comers or people who want to get into lyricism. I don't give a shit. And I don't give a shit how they take my lyrics, which is true Slim Shady style. He's back. And if they want to license my music to entice with and use the shit like a blueprint for ISIS recruitment, recruitment into the rap game, but he's also comparing himself to a terrorist organization because everybody said that he was a terrorist. A terrorist into the normal white people or normal middle to upper class, you know, people who have never had that lifestyle, who never understood rap. Here comes their knight in shining armor, white guy. Here he comes to disrupt their pretty little utopia lifestyle of middle upper class America. He was a terrorist in that sense to that side of the American population. Excuse me while I stare into space for a few In a daze or haze, glazed over, crazed war balloon Mental case though, I've always had a straightforward view But you bozos keep giving the flamethrower fuel No one's ever sank lower, shrewd and way more rude Beast mode like a lawnmower, blade broke through it Ooh! See, he's saying, excuse me while I stare off into space I'm a mental crazed person with straightforward views of the world, straightforward views, you know, as he's looking into space, just daydreaming, thinking about, thinking to himself. But you bozos keep giving the flamethrower fuel. Flamethrowers literally spit flames, and he spits flames, and he's saying you bozos keep giving me fuel. Like you, MG, MGK wanted to come at him, and he shot back. Somebody else wants to come at him, he's going to shoot back. No one's ever sank lower or been more rude, which is true. No one's ever said or thought or rapped about the things that he has. Literally, fuck that, take drugs, rape sluts, make fun of gay clubs, men who wear makeup, get aware, wake up. Don't blame me if little Eric jumps off of the terrace, you should have been watching him. Apparently you ain't parents. Like no one was saying this at the time. No one was bringing these topics up. He says beast mode like a lawnmower blade rolled through it. Like lawnmower blade, literally mowing the grass, beast mode, mowed the grass. And this has little to do with being gay, boy. It's just where the word play's going. But ain't much I can say or do. Cause ain't no excuse to where I go with you. You say I'm always screw face, so if I look your way, you're screwed. See, look, now they censor the word faggot. And I'm not condoning the use of the word faggot, but you can't censor it on two songs that he puts it out on Kamikaze and then censor it right here. This has nothing to do with being gay, boy. Like, this, we're not talking about gay boys or. It's just where the word play's going. Because there ain't no excuse the way I go at you faggots. You say I'm always screw face, so if I look away, you're screwed. Because if looks could kill, I could start a hate war too. Because I'd murder you straight bitches by turning the gaze on you. Oh, I paused too soon. Yo, he ended that bar hot. Hot as fuck, coming in hot. You say I'm always screw face, like screwing up my face towards you faggots or towards you gay people. So if I look away, you're screwed. Because if looks could kill, I could start a hate war too. Because I'd murder you straight bitches by turning the gaze on you. Like I'd murder you sh like straight bitches in terms of straight heterosexual, but also just straight murder by turning the gaze on you. You're telling me to look away from the gaze, so I'm turning my gaze, like my literal view, on you. Gaze and gaze, straight and straight. Let's take it back before the tightly worn pants to the Nike Jordan hats, the Stripe Lee's Jordash and the white tees. Lightning storms might be formed fast. 
Such a frightening forecast, but when you're slightly hoarse, rasp from the ciphering orgasm, but still reciting your raps while you're tightening your grasp around the mic because you done shit it on it so much, you're always reminded of your past. Let's strip away all the fame and let's take you back to the shelter, which is where the video is shot. And let's take you back to 8 Mile, the movie. Let's take you back to the Lose Yourself, the beginning of the song, where he talks about his palms are sweaty with mom's spaghetti and hardly wetting and hardly getting. <laughs> let's take it back 30 years ago to the Nike Jordan hats. Jordash, which was a brand of jeans that was hot as fuck back in the 90s. And the white tees, because that's what he always wore on stage. That the lightning storms in his head were formed quickly, brainstorming, like he's doing here if he's spitting it off the dome. While you're tightening your grasp around the mic because he done shit it on it so much, you're reminded of your past. Which is again why he probably recorded this video at the shelter. He's reminded of who he was and the passion that he had when he was rapping just for the sake of it. He's talking to us like if it's our story, but it's his story. No good, but rap something I'm too good for my own good at. Fuck adulthood, I'm a grown up brat. Where your cajon is at? Mine are always being rolled. In fact, they're mm. frozen. You ever seen a cul de sac? Oh. So fell up my scrotum. I just sold him back. He said, fuck adulthood, I'm a grown up brat, which is how a lot of us feel, just fucking barely hanging on. I'm almost 30 and I feel like I don't got my shit together. Where your cajon is at? Mine are always being rolled. People are always on fucking riding my dick. Like, Get off my nutsack. They're frozen like he's got ice cold balls to say the shit that he says. Have you ever seen a cul-de-sac? Like a cul-de-sac in terms of like a dead end that has that little like ball shape at the end where you can turn around and drive. But a cold sack freezing nuts. So big they fell out of my scrotum, I just sewed them back. Again, they him going back to like one of the, his brain damage song. Ever since the day I was born, drugs is what they used to say I was on. His fucking brain fell out of his skull and his mom's screaming at him, look what have you done, shut up you cunt. I said fuck it, took it and stuck it back up in my head, then I sewed it shut and put a couple of screws in my neck. Dick so long, need a shoulder strap for that. Mm. Gotta unroll it and fold it back. So difficult to wrap in the prophylactic, it overlaps it. So I pack a Trojan so fat when I lay it flat, it's like a yoga mat. Ooh. Dick so long, need a shoulder strap, like a fucking guitar strap, like I need to strap it down. You gotta unroll it, then fold it back, like when he goes to take a piss, the shit just unrolls like the fucking red carpet. So I pack a Trojan so fat, that when I lay it flat, it's like a fucking yoga mat. Just think of what a condom looks like if you laid it flat. His is so big, it's the size of a yoga mat when laid flat. Which is funny, because in a lot of his songs, he says, my dick shrunk smaller, but my balls got larger. Get more liquor to fuck you up quicker than you'd want to fuck me for saying the word. Make a bitch think she's in aerobics class. The bad you don't want to poke his back. The bad mm. you to rap. Your fucking lead singles are my bonus tracks. Ooh. The bear you don't want to poke his back. Don't go poking at the bear because you might just get mauled. The backbone of rap. Like Tiger Woods is the backbone of golf, which is the irony of Tiger Woods and Eminem. I just put that shit together right now that the black dude is holding golf together and the white dude is holding rap together. Your fucking lead singles are my bonus track. It's filler. Your shit is filler on my albums. When I appear, my peers stop. Hearts fall in their stomach, their spirits drop. Careers flop, their gears lock. Severe shock, fear at the mere thought. Lyrics are top tier, I'm so high at the top. I'm in the sky when I talk. Bitch, I'm so fly when I walk, my ears pop. And I'm just playing, ladies. You know I love you. I got an idea for a line. Bruh, when I appear, my peers stop. Like his, his colleagues in the rap game. Their hearts fall in their stomach and their spirits drop. Like if Godzilla, like the Asians saw Godzilla. Careers flop, their gear is locked, severe shock. Like no one knows what to do. Everyone's just stuck in their spot. So high at the top, I'm in the sky when I walk. He's such a giant in the game that he's in the sky when he talks. I'm so fly when I walk, my ears pop. Like he's just walking and he's so high in the altitude that his ears pop from the lack of pressure and the pressure changes just like they do when you're in a plane. And then again with the I'm just plain, ladies, you know I love you. It's like his fifth song. White America, he says, I'm just plain America, you know I love you. I'm just plain Diddy, you know I love you. I'm just plain, ladies, you know I love you. Maybe the fourth song. And he says, I got an idea for a line. Like that whole shit that we just witnessed and just witnessed him spit. 
He just got one line out of that 10 minute spit that he thought was decent. Shit's crazy, son. Son, but long ass video. Y'all said y'all wanted it. If you made it through in one sitting, you're a G. If you didn't make it through in one sitting, that's fine. Break it into pieces because it's a lot of shit to take in. Anyway, I appreciate y'all being here. If you're loyal enough to hit that 30 minute mark or however long this fucking video is, go ahead and subscribe, please. Like the video, comment, hit the notification bell. I'm always responding in the comments to what y'all thought the hottest bars were. If I missed anything, let me know. See y'all in the next one. Peace. Thanks for being here. Ah, uh, Nima, he went off. Him and him went off on that.